Ahmed Oz Gazilcik, who joins me now from Ankara, and he's an analyst at the Security Department for the SETA Foundation. First of all, Omar, your thoughts um, on this announcement by President Trump just now? So obviously this is an important day, especially in the global fight against terrorism. And the death of Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is something very symbolic because he was the first uh, declared caliph of the so-called alleged Islamic State. And therefore I think his death will mark an important shift in the ideology of the terrorist organization because they now need to find a successor and they need to find someone who can, can come instead of him. But they do not control the territory they once controlled. So therefore, it will be a hard time for the terrorist organization to survive and continue and to rebuild themselves as they wish. So it's an important uh, day, I think, in the global fight against terrorism. And here also I have to underline that the cooperation between the United States of America, Russia, Iraq, and Turkey is quite important here as well because if the Turkish side or the Russian side had not cooperated, this operation would not be possible, as uh, both sides control important airspace. And additionally, in regards to the Turkish role, the uh, site of the attack is so close to the Turkish border that uh, it was highly important that Turkey cooperated. And not only that, the operation took two hours. And we know that Turkey has important leverage over the armed groups inside Idlib. And using this leverage, it seems like the Turkey prevented any major escalation from other armed uh, factions, groups inside Idlib against the uh, American force, because two hours would be enough for the uh, armed groups inside Idlib to uh, attack the American force who are on the ground uh, going after Abu al Baghdadi. So the cooperation between the two NATO allies was crucial and important here. However, uh, I don't think that the way of uh, how Trump described the last moments of the terrorist leader, Bakila Baghdadi, will be effective on the supporters and sympathizers of the ISIS terrorist group. Because firstly, they will just don't believe what Trump has told them. And secondly, for Daesh terrorist sympathizers, it's more of an act of an honor to decide for suicide rather than being uh, get caught by the Americans. And they will portray the uh, dead, killed terrorist leader as a hero, and they will try to uh, continue his legacy in their propaganda machinery. What's important here is that from now on, we don't repeat the mistakes of the past, which led to the ISIS terrorists emerge in the first place. And these mistakes were mainly to alienate the local people, to alienate Sunni Arabs, and to discriminate Sunni Arabs, not only in Iraq, but also other uh, Muslims in the entire world. So Omer. the international community needs to understand not to discriminate the Muslim population. Omer, I want to ask you about the location, Barisha, uh, a village in Idlib province. Were you surprised that this is where al-Baghdadi was found? So obviously, I think uh, almost everyone was surprised that al Baghdadi was found in Idlib because all armed factions in Italy went after uh, the Daesh terrorist cells there, and they are arch enemies against each other. However, there's also one important question of how did Abubakar al-Baghdadi came to Idlib, which road he has used, because as we have understand from the remarks of Donald Trump, that he went from somewhere to Idlib. But from where did he went to Idlib? How did he went to Idlib? So did he cross the territories of the Assad regime, who has cooperated in the past time several times with the Daesh terrorists? and let the terrorists from other areas go to Idlib to fight against the Syrian opposition? Or did Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi came to Idlib via the help of the Syrian Democratic Force, the U.S. partner force in Syria? So we just don't know, and there are still important question marks, which maybe uh, will remain so. All right. Indeed, lots of uh, question marks remain. Thank you very much indeed, Omer uh, Ozkazilcik, joining us from Ankara.